Good morning and welcome to a very, very happy hobby bench today, or hobby table I should say. Because as you can see on this hobby table, this happy hobby table, there is this beautiful OS engine box. And it's an OS Gemini 160. And uh, yeah, let's just get into this thing. This is an OS Gemini FT160. complete new in box never been run before now before I get to the engine we're gonna go through this documentation package here piece by piece because I haven't even done this yet I haven't even looked at everything that's in this documentation package yet so let's just go here on top of the order here now this engine is one that dates back to 1984 the same year as the uh, 240 Gemini came out um, that's not how old this engine is, but that's when this dates back to. So, as you can see here, we got some nice instructions written in Japanese and English. And this is basically talking about how you use the adjusting, uh, adjust the valves on this engine. So there's valve adjusting, and here's, this engine has its carburetor lightly fitted into the intake boss as delivered, secure it. Referring to the okay, so they're making it sound like the carb is not fully seated or not screwed in place. I'm not sure about that. We'll check. Look at this, and we got our standard OS limited warranty. Hobby services, interstate, dry, champagne, Illinois. So I explained that tells us that this was from Tower Hobbies in at least post 1991. <clears throat> yes, correct. Horizon Hobbies. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Tower hobbies. So, yeah, that the date doesn't. I was thinking 1991 was when Horizon Hobbies became the exclusive distributor of Sato engines. So, uh, excuse my confusion. That doesn't mean that this could mean that this engine dates back even further. But we're going to try to investigate that. So here's one decal sheet. Here's another decal sheet that says Gemini on it, and people would plaster that all over their planes because they were so proud of that which I don't blame them. Instructions for the OS FT-160 Gemini twin cylinder four stroke engine. And talks about, this is just very brief instruction set here. And it's got a parts list on it. However, there is more instructions. Uh, what is this? Safety instructions and warnings, two languages, supplementary instructions. And then we got this, the book, the actual instruction owner's manual book. And this is, in, this is interesting because this first page here actually talks a little bit about OS engine history, which I've never necessarily seen or read before because I'm one of those people that's really big into the history of engines and, and very few of these places actually, you know, publish the history of their engines. Um, so I'm just going to read a part of this. Your Gemini series engine is a scale type horizontally opposed twin cylinder overhead valve four stroke cycle engine. It is more it is the more powerful development of the FT120 Gemini introduced in 1979 and further demonstrates OS preeminence in four stroke engine manufacture as first established in 1976 with the introduction of the single cylinder FS60 and continued in the latest OS single twin and multi-cylinder models. So it talks a little bit about, you know, some dates there, which is interesting. And this is just a cool, cool manual. It's got some really nice pictures. Talks about the carb. Just, I mean, I'm geeking out over all of this. So let's look at this engine. Before we look at this engine, let me put all this documentation back so that it doesn't get Posed up at all. So give me just a moment to put this back in here. Okay. So here's the engine in all of its glory, brand spanking new, and this is it. So in this first compartment, we've got the engine mount, and here is a rod for the it's either the choke rod or maybe for the uh, high-speed needle valve. It's piercing this section here. I did open this and look in this. There is nothing under here. I thought that um, I had seen some of these 160s on eBay 
that came with a long box end wrench. So this whole opening would have been opened up. I don't know if that means this is older or newer, but knowing past history trends, anytime fewer things come with an engine, that means it's a later one because they're starting to cost reduce. And so this is telling me that this engine could potentially be uh, from the uh, 2000s, as far as I know. I mean, who knows, 90s, 2000s. It is serial number 8,132. So that tells you that, you know, a lot of engines, have, a lot of these have been made. And this is a Series 2. This is not the same generation as the very initial one that came out because that one had an air bleed carb and this one clearly does not have an air bleed carb it has uh, a twin needle carb but this is the beautiful Gemini now it dawned on me and maybe it, it just is very apparent to most people but I was wondering, I was thinking about it as I was waiting for this thing to arrive, and we do have the matching serial number here, 8132. Gemini, why do they call it Gemini? Well, I started thinking for about three seconds and said, oh, it's because the constellation Gemini is known as the twins. Well, there you go, you got twins, it's a twin. So that's why I believe that this is titled the Gemini. And then I started thinking, okay, well, you got four cylinder, Pegasus engines, the 240 and the 320, and I'm not really understanding why those they determined decided to call them Pegasus. Uh, Pegasus was a winged horse that, as mythology states, was created when some of the heads or Medusa's head was cut off. I, I don't know. That's just what I kind of quickly saw in a Google search. Um, why the five cylinder is named Sirius after the dog star. I don't know, I don't understand that, but let's just get on to geeking out over this beautiful engine. So, yeah. I don't know what is gonna happen with this engine. All I know is for this time, it's in my possession and it's beautiful. In here is a bag of the screws and mounting hardware that would mount it to a firewall or a display stand, which could be the case. Here is an open bag, which is includes the tools. Nice little toolbox. It has feeler valves, the wrench for uh, loosening the lock nuts, and then of course the wrench for actually adjusting the tappets, or not the tappets, the, uh, the valve clearance. Here is just a couple of connector cords for connecting a remote glow or Ignition system or whatever you want to whatever you want to call it. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to be using that if, if this engine's ever going to get run I don't know those answers yet. All I know is that for now this beautiful item is in my possession and It's absolutely stunning. I don't know I think so and I know I've mentioned this before and, and some people have contacted me and said well You know, I think I've got this engine this new in box or I've got a new in box OS engine and it and it's it's gummy it doesn't turn over properly or it, it's you know not the bearings are notchy and I tell them then you don't have a new in-box engine because I've had number of new in-box engines from OS and other manufacturers and from various years from you know I've had some that are 30 years old or almost 40 years old new in-box never seen a drop of fuel and they are perfect I don't know how they do the finishing of these engines from the factory because when I've looked inside brand new engines I've not seen a pool of oil there is something on them apparently that preserves them but there's no notchiness I've never ever on a brand new engine from OS from OS for sure I'm that's truly new I've never ever felt notchiness it's never been gummy it's never been stuck it's always been perfect so anybody that tells me that they think They've got a new in-box engine and it doesn't feel perfectly smooth or it's gummy or notchy. It's not a new in-box engine. It's been run or somebody's done something to it. Guaranteed. Because that's just not, that's part of OS. That's not how they operate. When you get a, a brand new engine from OS, it is perfect. Period. And uh, so anyway, hope you enjoyed this quick look at a, just a spectacular 
example of OS engineering dating back to the engineering dates back to 1984 and it's the OS FT-160 Gemini.